A lot of people think that being a professional footballer guarantees a perpetual life of luxury. But don't be fooled by the fancy cars and big houses. Even top footballers can go completely broke. Whether it's bad investments, lavish spending, or simply outright bad luck. Today, we delve into the cautionary tales of seven football stars who went from having it all to losing absolutely everything. John Anarisa. Born in 1980, Risa started young honing his skills in his hometown club, Alassun FK. His exceptional talent caught the eye of AS Monaco in 1998, marking his move to the big leagues at the young age of 17. He quickly established himself as a key player, renowned for his fierce left foot and his tireless work ethic. In 2001, Liverpool came calling, securing his signature for a whopping £4 million. Seven glorious years followed, punctuated by iconic moments. Remember the unforgettable free kick against Manchester United in 2001? What an absolute screamer that was! Lifting the FA Cup in 2003 and the Champions League in 2005. Scoring a crucial penalty in the dramatic final shootout. Despite on-field success, Risa reportedly made poor investment decisions leading to significant financial losses. In 2008, he left Liverpool for Roma, followed by stints at Fulham, Roma again, and Apo LFC. With varying degrees of success, off-field struggles continued, forcing Risa to sell his luxurious English mansion and downsize his lifestyle completely. Undeterred by adversity, Risa embraced new challenges, playing in India, Norway, and Malta. He ventured into coaching, managing Flint Tonsberg and currently serving as a player manager for our Valensness in the Norwegian top division. While acknowledging past mistakes, Risa focuses on using his experiences to educate others about financial literacy. Louis Saha Born in 1979, Saha started in Mets, quickly drawing attention with his technical ability and finishing prowess. In 2004, Fulham secured his signature for £2.5 million, marking his Premier League debut. He blossomed under the manager, Chris Coleman, forming a lethal partnership with Luis Boa Morte. The 2006-7 season was his peak, scoring 15 goals and earning the dream move to Manchester United for a whopping £12.8 million. Injuries, however, plagued his United spell, limiting his impact and playing time. Despite earning significant wages, Sahar reportedly made unwise investments, leading to substantial financial losses. After leaving Manchester United, he eventually had stints at Everton, Tottenham, Sunderland and Lazio, but injuries continued to hamper his progress. In 2013, he retired at the age of 34, facing a harsh financial reality due to his earlier mismanagement. But refusing to be defined by his mistakes, Sahar embarked on a journey of financial recovery and self-awareness. He became an ambassador for financial education, sharing his experiences to help others avoid similar pitfalls. Ray Parlour Born in 1973, Parlour started at Young Arsenal's Academy, rising through the ranks with grit and determination. In 1991, he made his senior debut, quickly becoming a fan favourite known for his box-to-box -box runs and tireless work ethic. He played a key role in Arsenal's most successful period, contributing to three Premier League titles, 97 to 98, 2001 to 2002, 2003 to 2004. Four FA Cups followed and the 1994 European Cup Winners' Cup. Known for his cheeky personality and on-field tenacity, he formed a formidable midfield partnership with the famous Patrick Vieira. Despite earning a lot of wages, Paolo reportedly faced issues with financial planning and investments. After leaving Arsenal in 2004, he had stints at Middlesbrough, Hull City and Cardiff City with varying degrees of success. In the 2010s, his financial struggles became public, raising concerns about the financial literacy of athletes. He openly discussed his challenges, highlighting the importance of financial guidance and planning for a secure future. Paolo has chosen to utilize his experience to raise awareness about financial literacy, particularly among athletes. He actively participates in events and campaigns, sharing his story and advocating for responsible financial management. He also works as a pundit and a coach, staying connected to the sport that he loves so much. Paul Gascoigne Born in 1967, Gascoigne's raw talent shone through at Newcastle United's Academy. In 1988, he burst into the scene captivating audiences with his dribbling skills and audacious passes. 
He played a key role in England's run to the 1990 World Cup semi-finals, earning the Golden Ball Award for Best Young Player. Despite club transfers to Tottenham Hotspur and Rangers FC, injuries and personal struggles hampered his consistency. Despite earning a lot of wages, Gascoigne reportedly faced issues with gambling, alcohol addiction and poor financial management. His personal struggles overshadowed his later playing career, marked by stints at Middlesbrough, Everton, Burnley and lower league clubs. In the 2000s and 2010s, his financial difficulties became public, leading to repossessions and bankruptcy. He openly discussed his battles with addiction and mental health, raising awareness and seeking support. Gascoigne has embarked on a journey of recovery and self-improvement, seeking help for his addictions and mental health challenges. He actively participates in events and campaigns, sharing his story and advocating for mental health awareness and responsible financial management. Wilson Oruma Born in 1976, Oruma's talent blossomed in local clubs before joining Enugu Rangers in 1995. In 1998, he joined Lens in France, quickly establishing himself as a fan favorite with his dribbling skills and playmaking ability. He played a key role in Nigeria's golden era, participating in the 2002 World Cup and the 2002 and 2006 Nations Cup. He also enjoyed success with Sochor in France and Samsung Sport in Turkey, known for his creativity and leadership on the field. Despite earning significant wages, Oruma was reportedly defrauded by a pastor in Nigeria and some fake oil businessmen in a phantom oil deal. It was learned that Oruma eventually lost a whopping sum of 1.2 billion naira. As a result, he suffered from bouts of mental illness and depression. His financial struggles became public in 2018, sparking concern and support from the football community. Oruma's story highlighted the vulnerability of athletes to financial scams and the need for financial education. With the support of the Nigerian Football Federation and fellow players, Oruma received medical treatment and embarked on a path to recovery. He actively participates in awareness campaigns, educating athletes and the public about financial literacy and avoiding scams. Adriano Born in 1981, Adriano's raw talent blossomed in Flamingo's Youth Academy. His thunderous strikes and powerful physique earned him the nickname The Emperor. In 2001, he joined Inter Milan for a then record fee, forming a devastating partnership with the best striker in the world at the time, Ronaldo. He delivered on his potential, winning three Serie A titles, two Coppa Italia trophies and a Champions League crown. Adriano's thunderous left foot produced iconic goals like his free kick against Parma that went viral worldwide. He also shone for Brazil, winning the Copa America in 2004 and reaching the 2006 World Cup final. Despite his on-field success, Adrano battled personal demons, including the tragic death of his father and struggles with depression. These challenges affected his form and commitment, leading to loan spells at Flamingo, Corinthians and Parma, with varying degrees of success. Injuries and weight gain hampered his return to Inter Milan, marking the end of his European dream. After brief stints in Brazil, Adriano announced his retirement in 2014. Facing financial difficulties and personal challenges, he has openly spoken about his struggles advocating for mental health awareness and support for athletes. Currently, he focuses on coaching youth players and remains a beloved figure in Brazil, sharing his experience and wisdom with the next generation. Taribo West Born in 1974, West started young at Nigerian clubs known for his athleticism and defensive prowess. In 1993, he joined Auxerre in France, impressing with his fierce tackling and eye-catching hairstyles. He played for prestigious clubs like AC Milan and Inter Milan, winning Serie A with Inter in 2001. West also represented Nigeria in the World Cup in 1998 and 2002, known for his leadership and colorful attire. During his career, his vibrant hair attracted attention, often changing colors and styles, becoming the trademark of his flamboyant personality. Despite earning significant wages, West reportedly made questionable investments and faced accusations of financial mismanagement. In 2008, he left football and missed financial struggles, leading to public scrutiny and questioning about his financial decisions. Details of his specific challenges remain limited, but his story highlighted the vulnerability of athletes to financial pitfalls. Following his retirement, West embarked on a religious journey, becoming a pastor and founding a church in Lagos, Nigeria. 
He uses his platform to preach and teach, focusing on youth development and spiritual guidance. West remains an active figure in Nigeria football, occasionally offering commentary and sharing his experience with young players. So what exactly did you learn from the touching stories of these falling stars? And who else do you think belongs on this list? Kindly share your thoughts in the comments below and catch you in the next video.